Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. We're going to do some more creative thinking today and using my inspiration in a new way. Um, and so I can't wait to share that with you. A couple of things before we start. So a week from today, but when you see this video, a week from today, uh, the doors to the membership will open for new subscribers or new members, I should say. So I wanted to let you know that ahead of time so that you can be ready if you're interested at all. There's two years worth of content in the membership. And this sign up time will be the last time that it's at this price. It's going to go up because there's so much goodness in there. We have such a wonderful time, a great community, really encouraging, lots of lessons being learned. So I hope that you'll check it out at least and see if it's for you. If it's not, that's okay too. But I just wanted to let you know that the doors to the membership will open for new members in one week on the following Sunday. So be ready for that. Let's see, what else did I need to tell you? Oh, uh, new stencils in the shop. They're all five by eight, fun size, super fun size, and like basic patterns that I didn't have. I'm like, all the stuff, all this designs that I have, I just didn't have any basic things. So I got some of those and a few other really cutie cute ones. And this week on YouTube, I will be doing some fun demos with those new stencils. So be on the lookout for that. What else? Supplies will be listed in the blog and the link to the blog is down below in the YouTube description box. That is it, I believe. All this, yeah, okay. <laughs> I am trying to remember everything that I needed to remember. So, all right, let's take a look at what I have done and am going to do. So here's my piece. This is a 16 by 20. This is a larger canvas, 16 by 20. And this is my inspiration. This, I took inspiration from the Art from Anthropology book. This was, I think, the first one that I did. I loved the butterflies. I love them. And so I'm going to create something larger, more my style. This is my style for the most part, but in a more abstract kind of feel, hopefully. Uh, I love the... The butterflies, I love the painterly feel, so I want to truly try and capture that on this, on this piece. So I'm going to set that aside. Then, this, uh, I, what I did so far was, I used my roller tub and rolled out the first layer just to get some cover down so that it didn't take so long with the brush. Then I came back and put some more black gesso on and really brushed it out so I have lots of movement. I want lots and lots of movement on this background. And there's gonna be multiple layers to this background. You're gonna watch me go through several different layers and add some and take some back, add some and take some back. I've taken soft pastels and scribbled in here. I've used my stencils to create some other patterns. And what I've done is I've pushed that paint up against the side so it gives me texture. Gives me great texture, not to mention some lightness in the background as well. And my soft pastels work really well into the paint. Just make sure you wipe them off once you're done. Otherwise you'll have crusty paint on them. And then I'm going to come back and lighten it up, put light layers. And then the third layer, <clears throat> what I'm envisioning anyway, is I'm going to be putting papers. And I have selected specific papers for this piece because this is my butterflies. And this is from a Home and Gardens um, book, The City Gardens and the butterflies that kind of roam about in there. They, these are handwritten uh, notes from an artist from the 1800s that did butterfly plates. And um, this is the index of what he did. They're, the butterflies are gorgeous and color and all of that. So these are truly meaningful. And I will be using bits and pieces of this. The whole piece is not going to be covered by paper, which I typically do. And then I've got this um, vintage page from a typewriter book that has, I, I always like these because it's conditioning practice, which is what 
we're doing. What I'm always doing, I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm gathering new tools for what I want to create. Directions, just fun fonts and different things like that and skill building and it talks about what it takes to um, get better at something. Repetition, which is what we're doing. So <clears throat> all of that has some meaning. And then I think about the, um, mean, the actual meaning of the piece, and that to me means freedom. So I may have a word in here that has freedom that kind of gets covered up in this, and I'll talk more about that freedom in just a second. Stencils. I got a pile of stencils out here. So these are the cutie patootie new ones, some of them anyway, that have just, I mean, they're great patterns. They're five by eights. These are old designs. I'm taking some of the old, my older designs and uh, making them five by eights, kind of changing them up a little bit to fit a five by eight. But these are really great patterns, just like everyday background things that I will go to over and over and over. And I have a really big dot one too. What did I, <clears throat> what did I do with that one? Some of these things I'm thinking, why have I not had these in all the years that I have been stenciling? Where's the big, well, I think you saw it. I used it right here. It's drying somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> but I think that, oh, here it is. So these are the two that I used in the background so far. But anyway, stencil, stencil, stencil. So I've got some more stencils out here because I want some, some kind of free pattern, not quite so controlled, which is the point of this piece, freedom. So I've got that. I don't know if I'll use, I don't, I'm sure I won't use all of these patterns. I'm pretty sure I will use these ones just because I like, I like the freedom of it. Then I've got my butterfly stencils out here that I used on my original piece. And I will be using, I won't be using these actual masks. I will be using the, turn that over and see if it, they're so gunky. I will be using the cutout of them. So once I get another light layer on, then I'm going to put, you know, other stuff on and then the butterflies will be black to start and I'll paint in like I did because I love how that looks. But I'm going to create this my way in my free way, freedom to discover new things. That is all I know so far. The colors that I will be using will be the colors that I love. I will be mixing some colors, but Payne's Gray, Cad Orange, Burnt Sienna, Quinacridone Magenta, Prism Violet, Teal, and then Black and White Gesso for my Black and White. I know I'll be using some soft pastels, and I know I will be using some soft pastel pencils, possibly some Posca markers. We'll see what we we'll see what we need when we get there. That is what I know. Uh, matte medium or matte gel to put my papers down. Okay, that is it. And I wanna see some movement and some freedom and some just real kind of free abstract kind of feel in this piece. That is, that is where I, that's where I started and that's what I love, so, okay. So that is where I'm at for this project. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But I want to talk about freedom uh, to create, freedom to be you, be who you are, be and do your style. That's really our that's really my goal. And that's really my goal to teach you is to have that freedom to be you. But how do you know what you are? what your style is. And what I've been doing, and I know I'm repeating myself, but I, I really want to drive it home that what I've been doing over the last four months is f I'm taking the freedom to experiment, to try new things, to remember what I love, to cast away the things that I don't love so that I can find my uni unique voice as I create, my unique style. And every single time is a learning lesson. And we have freedom to make a mess, and we have, a free, we have freedom to make a masterpiece. And both are important. 
And so that this piece is about freedom, freedom to choose to show up, make a mess, and do it again and again and again until I get some answers, until I get some knowledge, until I have more skill, until, until, until. And we have that freedom in our own lives. We have the freedom to choose how we want to live. Do we want to live a creative life? Do we want to live an angry, bitter life? Do we want to, how do we want to live? We get to choose. We have that freedom. And yes, there are things that people do and say and have done and have said that have altered us. But that still doesn't take away our freedom to choose how we respond. Same here. How we respond to a piece that doesn't work is, will determine how far we continue to go. Same thing in life. We have the freedom to choose how we respond to our, to our messes, to our mistakes, to <clears throat> other people's hurtful words or actions. We get to choose how we respond. Yes, it sucks. But we also have power and strength and freedom to walk away, to get a new color, to not say angry words, to say angry words, to we have this freedom. We get to choose. And I want that for you. I want that for you in all places of your life so that your voice is 100% you, here and out there. That's freedom. And that's what I want to paint today. I want to paint some freedom. All right, my loves, I hope your Sunday is restful and peaceful. I hope you are free in so many ways and that you are free, you, are, you remind yourself that you are free to choose in whatever circumstance you're in. You're free to choose how you respond. All right, my loves, have a wonderful Sunday. And I hope that you always, always know how much you are loved.